Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna cover how to use Copilot to handle Python in Microsoft Excel. My name is Victor Cuevas. I'm the founder of the Knowledge Jar. In this channel, you learn how to use AI for your business, job, or personal use. Appreciate a like and a subscribe to help get the video out to others. Check out the free resources in the comments section below. Now, Microsoft Excel, you can access Python functionality right within your spreadsheet. Why is this a great feature? Python integration in Excel lets users do advanced analysis within the familiar spreadsheet environment. So not everyone is comfortable with coding. With Copilot, you can generate the Python code, then using special Python functions to quickly copy and paste the code. The result, Python allows Excel users to perform tasks that would be difficult or impossible with Excel formulas alone. So let's head over to Excel, check out an example. Okay, here in Excel, I have a table with fictitious market share data. Now, this market share of a famous athletic shoe company is around the world from 1970 to 2020. This format is okay for quick overview, but for actual slicing and dicing of data, it's no bueno. So technically we should have our country column and another column for a year, followed by the actual market share quantity. To transform this data, we're gonna use Python for help. So let's head over to the Home tab, and I'm gonna click on the Copilot button to enable it. In the prompt window, I'm gonna enter, can you help me write Python code to transform my Excel table, name market share from a wide format to a long format. I want each row to represent a country, year, and market share for that year. I need the code to load the data from Excel table and then converge it accordingly. I only need to perform the transaction. Hit enter. Let's scroll up. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So you can see we have our script. So we're gonna load the Excel file. Here's our DF or data frame. And this is how we're gonna transform our information. So what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to copy this piece right here, control C. And I am gonna head over to I2 to activate it. And I'm gonna hit equals P Y for Python and then I'll hit tab. And what I can do is I'll say data frame df is equal to, make sure it's capturing all. Nope, that's a whole sheet, okay. And then I have to hit shift and enter to move it a couple lines underneath. And then I'm gonna paste this information here. And I'm gonna hit control and enter on my keyboard at the same time to commit to the code and it works. The output right now is in Python object view. So what I wanna do is head over to the formula bar and I'm gonna click on this little dropdown and I'm gonna change it to Excel value. And there we go. You can see I have all the columns as requested, country, year, and market share. This is a simple example, but you can see the potential of using these cool features in Excel, Python and Copilot together. So this completes the Copilot and Microsoft Excel series. So feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next lesson.